Alrighty guys, what's going on? Linky here, and we have finally made it. We are just one day away from the release of Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. It's been a long road. It has been a long year, almost a year, in the lead up to these remakes coming out. Many a controversy, discussions, many a fan reactions to trailers and no trailers, a lot of hype and excitement about certain aspects of these remakes from one part of the community, and some apprehension from other parts, and it is all culminating in the game's official release tomorrow. Now, of course, if you're in certain parts of the world, the release for you is actually the day this video is going out, but for the North American audience, which is most of my audience, we're going to be playing the game tomorrow. I'm going to be playing it, you guys are going to be playing it, it is going to be a fun time. So with that being said, I just wanted to reflect on this journey a little bit and get you guys ready for what you're going to see from the channel in the next coming days. So with that being said, let's jump right into things. Do you guys remember back in February when these games were first announced? Everyone was so excited to see what Nintendo, what the Pokemon company were going to give us with the fourth generation of Pokemon looming to be remade. Everyone felt that it was about time. Every creator, every news outlet, every leaker said something is coming. And the day that they got announced, they actually got leaked a couple hours beforehand on, I believe, Reddit. There were screenshots, screenshots of Legends Arceus and Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, some screenshots of Legends Arceus that we haven't even seen officially revealed yet what they originally showed. So it's been a crazy ride. This has been the first cycle of game releases that I've had the privilege to cover on YouTube as a content creator, even though there were previous years where Pokemon games were coming out and I was making videos, but I wasn't a Pokemon YouTuber at that point. I wasn't a Nintendo YouTuber like I am now. I played other games. I did other stuff on my channel. This has been the first time that I've been able to cover something from reveal to release. And I just need to thank you guys so much because the support you've shown me, the interest you've taken in my commentary on these things and your interactions with me in the comment section on social media, it's been incredible. And I just want to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for everything over the last year. It's been awesome. And on that note, we're going to be doing a stream tomorrow. You can see it right now on the screen. This is the thumbnail. It's going to be really fun. We're going to be playing through Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. Probably late afternoon is when I'm going to start. Now, the stream might already be scheduled on the channel by the time you're watching this. And if it is, you can set a reminder on YouTube to let you know when I go live. And we're going to play through the game. I'm going to be interacting with chat. We might have some friends pop on and talk to me on Discord while I'm playing. And we're just going to explore the Sinnoh region in Brilliant Diamond for the first time ever. It's not going to be any specific type of run and Nuzlocke or anything like that. It is going to be a straight playthrough. So if you want to see me experience this game for the first time, even though we all played the Sinnoh region before, you're going to be able to do that here. It's going to be a lot of fun. So be sure to tune in tomorrow to the channel and we're going to be streaming Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. It is going to be awesome. And that's just my thank you to you guys for showing me so much support throughout this last year. During this last year, we've seen a lot happen. If you guys were around back in the beginning of the year, you would know that we went through a period of time where there were almost no new trailers, no new information. And for a Pokemon centered channel and for a community that is constantly looking to learn new information about these games and constantly be engaged in discussion, that wasn't ideal. And that was a bit of a struggle because it was really weird. It didn't necessarily fit in with Pokemon's usual cycle of revealing new information leading up to a game release. But once the summer hit, after I made like three videos speculating as to why that was, we started to get information and the community started to change their perception about these games. We saw better footage of Legends Arceus. We saw more polished footage of Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, and people started to get excited. We started to learn what the meat and potatoes of this remake was going to be. And from that point, people's expectations were set to the point where we are now. The games have leaked. If you want to know everything about these remakes, barring any patches on day one, that is out there. As I've mentioned previously, you haven't found that on this channel, but people can play the games online if they want to. It's the nature of releasing games in 2021. It's the nature of the internet nowadays. And as unfortunate as that might be for the excitement of discovering something new in a video game once it fully comes out, 
it really, you're still going to be able to enjoy these games when they come out. And I think a lot of people have tried to stay spoiler free. So when they get to experience the game starting tomorrow, it's going to be fresh for them. And I think that's a really good thing that video games allow us to do. And especially the internet. If you don't want to see something, as long as you're careful, you can avoid it. And that's what I hope a lot of people have tried to do with these remakes specifically. Now, before we go any further, I just wanted to mention that the vast majority of you guys who are watching this video aren't subscribed to the channel. Now, of course, subscribing is free and you can unsubscribe at any time. So if you're only here to watch Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl videos, I'd recommend you subscribe at least for the next couple days. And maybe if you see some stuff you like after that, you can stay subscribed and keep watching. But it's just shows me that you guys are really enjoying these videos and that you want to see more like them in the future because Pokemon is ever evolving and ever growing and we're always going to have stuff to talk about. So if you're not subscribed, be sure to hit that subscribe button let's get right back into the discussion. And even if you haven't stayed spoiler free, if you've taken a look at some of the leaks, listened to all the leaked information, I hope you're just as excited for the game. Or if it turned you off to the game, I hope that you are saving your money and putting it towards something that is going to make you happy. There's a lot of people that have had a lot of big expectations for what a grand return to the Sinnoh region would be. And I have to say, I think we're going to look back at this time and be pretty happy with what we got. We're getting another game in two months, and that game is an open air Pokemon experience that we've never had before, a setting that we've never experienced before. And there are certain companies and certain game series where that would be the only experience you would have, but we're also getting one-to-one, -one, pretty much, faithful remakes of Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, or the originals Diamond and Pearl, along with them. And I think that it's a really nice thing that we're getting because any Pokemon fan of any stripe can have the game that they are really interested in, the game that they are really passionate about. You can have a bevy of different experiences. And I think in a couple years time when a Nintendo Switch retrospective gets made by one of the YouTubers who do really good like retrospective discussion videos, when that gets made, or maybe a Pokemon retrospective, we're going to look back at Pokemon on the Switch, Let's Go, Sword and Shield, Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl, Legends Arceus, Mystery Dungeon, Pokemon Snap. And we're going to say that this system had a thriving ecosystem and a thriving amount of choice for Pokemon fans to experience and to enjoy. And I think Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl fit really well into that. These games are going to find a really big audience. The Sinnoh region is beloved. Fans who grew up with those games, like myself, fans who maybe we're getting older at the point where Diamond and Pearl first came out and maybe never experienced those games, but have since gotten back into gaming. This is going to appeal to all of them. If you're a diehard Pokemon fan who stuck with it all the time, everybody hypes up the legend of Sinnoh. Everybody loves the Sinnoh region. There are maybe a couple detractors, but people love the ambiance and the music of the Sinnoh region. They love the cast of Pokemon and the evil team. Sinnoh is a really loved location. It has so many good lore connections to other regions, remaking it is an easy sell on Game Freak's part. What they choose to do with it has been really interesting, and it's going to bring up months and months and years of discussions and debates among the community about all of the various decisions that they ended up making. And that's good. That's what this platform is for. That is the appeal of the internet. We can continue to have these discussions and these debates. We're always going to be debating, oh, should they have done the sword and shield art style for Diamond and Pearl? Should they have just given us Legends Arceus, maybe put more resources into them if that's something you think they divulge from the original games? There are so many different ways that we can look about this. I think that ultimately these are some of the big positives about the time in which we are operating with Pokemon. We have a ton of choice. We have a ton of options for what we want to put our money towards. If you're someone who loves uh, sequels to games that we've already gotten, then the DLC for Sword and Shield was really cool for you. If you like side games, Pokemon Snap, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon have both already come to the Switch. Pokemon Tournament is on the Switch a little bit earlier. You have a lot to play there. If you like the main story games, we've gotten a new generation. We've gotten remakes that are completely new in style in Let's Go. And now we're getting classic remakes of older games. There's a lot here. And we're getting a brand new open air game in a couple months. There's a lot here for fans. And I think that even if you're someone who's not particularly excited for Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, I think it is still a really exciting, optimistic time to be a fan of this franchise. And that's really what I want to end with. I think it's going to be awesome starting tomorrow and it's going to be a really crazy next three months. So I hope you guys will join me on that and buckle up because we're going to have a lot of fun content to do here on the channel. 
Now, of course, let me know what you guys think down in the comments section. Do you agree with what I'm saying right now? Are you excited for the games to come out tomorrow? Are you going to be playing them on launch? And if so, which of them are you going to be picking up? I would love to know what you guys think. And if you enjoyed the video, please be sure to leave a like. It really shows me. And you don't have to leave a dislike anymore, guys, because they can't be seen publicly pretty soon. Uh, but if you enjoyed the video, please sure let me know with a like. It really helps other people find this video and find my channel as well. With that being said, I've been Linky. And we'll see you all in the next video. Actually, we'll see you all in the next live stream. Peace out.